Hi Taurus! This is your monthly love and relationship reading by Emma for the month of December 2020. It's going to be four cards representing your relationship first. And from there, Ten of Summer, which is Ten of Cups. King of Summer. Seven of Spring is Seven of Wands. And Eight of Autumn. Eight of Autumn, Eight of Pentacles. Three of Autumn, Three of Pentacles. Um, for your relationship, your influencing energy for your relationship. You guys are doing something together. Kind of uh, um, this third person perhaps with you. That, uh, but it's a, in, a, in a joyful way. Kind of you, three of you are doing something together. Um, doing this hobby, something enjoyable, three of autumn, doing something around your home, around your house, but there is another person there as well with the three of autumn. Could be very well something like that. Ten of summer, and now your energy is with it, with eight of pentacles. Eight of pentacles we have into your relationship. Ten of, now king of summer with five of swords, seven of spirits, Spring and you have three of pentacles and eight of autumn with seven of cups. No, seven of, uh, pardon me, six of pentacles in um, your influencing energy, giving helping hand. Maybe you are giving helping hand to your partner and, and its colleague, your partner, is doing something with somebody and you are helping hand there. But by all means, you are making these three people doing things together, related maybe to your business, to career. But my impression is that it is more hobby, more something that is enjoyable, kind of maybe maybe fixing, fixing around the house. And now you've got another person who helps you. So you, are, you people are decorating... Um, putting these room dividers in, you know, but busy with stuff like that, that you are enjoying. Now, energies for your partner. With Ten of Summer, we have Four of Cups for your partner. King of Summer, King of Cups, with Four of Wands, Seven of Spring, which is a Seven of Wands, for your partner, the Sun, Eight of autumn, eight of autumn, and for your for your partner we have ten of ten of wands. Influencing energy for your partner is seven of cups. Having this idea about something really beautiful, your partner is one who is initiating, has plenty ideas about. Let's do this this way. Let's decorate the home. Let's you know things all in the mind of your partner. You are a stabilizing force. You know, you are helping hand. Let's do what we can do. You know, maybe, as I said, you do have somebody who helps you. And that's how you come into this month with that kind of effort into something that you really enjoy. Maybe, as I said, another person with you helping you or you are helping your partner and another person. But by all means, three people kind of involved in here. Eight of Pentacles on your side, Taurus. It's, it's your skill work, your practical work, your money, your working on this relationship. This is by all means things that are stable. And Ten of Summer is Ten of Cups. You guys are very happy. Your relationship is full mark. All right, you don't have to worry about this relationship. And my impression is that you are all concentrated around this relationship, around this home, because Ten of Summer is home as well. With King of Summer... It says honorable, devoted, mature, warm-hearted. You see what I'm saying? It's lovely energies, people that love each other, emotional stability, trusting each other, being confident that, that this is true love. 
with King of Cups. First half of this month is really lovely. It's only that I think that you guys are working on something and it could very well be that you are working on your home. It's around it. Decorating, fixing, you know, something like that. You are very busy very busy i think you are just busy with your with your uh with your business with your with that what you do every day to make money you are very busy first week of december relationship is fine but maybe your partner find himself a bit bored you are this busy one very busy this time of the year your partner find himself a bit bored that sort of situation but your relationship is happy wherever you find each other uh find time for each other your relationship is blossoming. You trust each other, you believe into each other, into this relationship. There is no problem within your relationship, within you guys. Even if your partner is seeing that you are very busy and even if your partner is bored or, you know, maybe, but it's not a nagging, this person is not nagging, even if it's bored, will understand that you, uh, you have to do what you have to do. You see what I'm saying? Quite interesting first week. You're going to be very busy. Very busy. And your partner kind of find, um, find itself a bit bored. Now, four of wands, five of swords, though, in, uh, underneath. That some way you are bitter. Perhaps that you are working a lot. Because now we have four and four. Now, your partner is quite stable. You know, on that flat plateau, but rather happy, rather enjoying this moment. Comfort zone. Being bored at home and um, finding, finding comfort zone, finding joy in being around, doing almost nothing. You know, just enjoying good time. Maybe you're jealous here. <laughs> Maybe you have to work a lot. It's not funny. Sorry, Taurus. You really, it seems you have to work a lot this month, at least at the beginning. And I, I, it seems to me up until last week of this month, you will be working. But first and second week perhaps are maybe most difficult. A little bit of joy in this work um, or different type of work that you do. Something that is more joyful comes in the third week of December. But I was about this five of swords, which is a card that I um, really dislike. I don't like this one. Everything is fine in here. First, second week, Taurus, everything goes well for you. Your relationship is fine. It's just that you are too busy. And, you know, and, and your partner is enjoying its good time. But you, perhaps, you cannot yet. You still have to do. You still have to work. And maybe you feel a bit bitter. No fights, though. No fights. I see King of, King of Summer is there. There's love. There's understanding. You rely on on each other even if you feel oh you would love to have good time with these people with your partner you would like to be part of that comfort and that boredom end of the day you know doing nothing being bored you would love it but not Taurus you have to work <laughs> sorry somebody have to work you know in this home <laughs> um, anyway anyway that's also joy working and making money and uh, being prosperous it's also joyful uh, three of pentacles for you again some kind of practical work it's not be repeating this influencing energy it's still doing something it's still practical your practical application but with something that is joyful and i mention it here that it could be with another two people with your partner and another one the sun card um, on on the side of your partner being very energized energy, happiness, children going out in the nature and enjoying good time. You see, it could be also something like that for you guys. Enjoying something together. Finally, I think your partner is just happy that you are back together doing things, being together. Seven of Spring, they said being assertive. That your relationship at this point comes up. Let's do things together. Seven of Spring, strong point for your relationship. You, we have to do something together. Either that you're going out, you know, with your friends, outdoor, doing things outdoor, or uh, doing this hobby, um, sport, or something, something that is joyful, something that is practical, or um, doing things around the house. 
you know, doing this, decorating the house, going picnics, doing stuff together, but it is another one person. Maybe you have children, maybe you are a married couple, you have children, because sun indicates children. But by all means, that things that you do together, that relationship is now coming up strongly. We have to do something together to strengthen this relationship. You see what I'm saying? You are uh, you putting an effort, both of you, into this relationship. Maybe you are still busy. Maybe is is something still something else to be done for yourself personally. But relationship calls in here. We have to be together now and have some good time together to strengthen this relationship. Very nice. Now, eight of autumn. Now we had this eight of pentacles in here. But it says excellent craftsmanship and long-term projects. Your relationship is stable to uh, really strong bonds. Marriage, uh, living together for quite some time, being together, long-term relationship. And it comes up very strongly by the end of the month. Confirmation, yeah, this relationship is strong. Both of you are working on this relationship. It appears like that to everybody, Eight of Pentacles, and it seems it will be further on. There is intention to carry on, Eight of Autumn, always that perpetual motion, intention to carry on with looking after this relationship, doing what is needed to be done, so the relationship is strong. You are now, you, it seems you wanted a bit of rest with Seven of Cups. It's having this um, daydreaming, uh, um, having beautiful ideas about yourself, some options for you, but all in your mind. This is fantasizing, maybe maybe New Year resolution or ideas, very optimistic ideas for the New Year because this is last week of this year, last week of December, and everybody has perhaps in its head that what is to expect from the next year which seven of cups goes perfect with something like that you can expect all lovely beautiful things in your life you see Taurus end of the month you're really optimistic seven of cups is drives drives on that optimism really relationship is very strong your partner feels burdened a bit this time I don't know for what because I don't see anything wrong in here you were busy this side. Your partner was mostly enjoying good time, comfort zone, kind of even being free. Even if your partner is employed, it suggests that it doesn't work this, this December. Or at least it's not that busy. Mostly comfort zone, boredom, joy. Only I think what is burdening your partner is bringing this lots of idea, wanting perhaps a bit too much or not knowing what to go with next year. You see that what you are dreaming happily about, your partner is become perhaps taking it a bit too seriously, wants, wants to accomplish and do more and you know and kind of feels a bit burdened. All this idea, all that that comes to mind, how to do practically next year, what to do exactly, that mess of situation that your partner is constructing now for possible uh, a situation for the next year. You know, that, that kind of um, strange things. Could be being busy around Christmas season with that, that kind of profession or something, being busy around home, maybe cleaning, maybe having visitors or something, but uh, some having kind of heavy load, uh, cooking, preparing the house or something like that for some of you. I'm just relating to this festive season in the Western world. Anyway, anyway, Taurus, I really hope that you're going to enjoy month of December.